I'm Deion Sanders. There's nothing like being on a championship team, but the team that means the most to me, my family. There's no sweeter victory than motivating my kids to reach for their dreams. But some parents take it way too far. They don't know I'm coming, and when I pay a surprise visit, anything might happen. So hang on, it's prime time for a reality check. This is Sports Dads. Hi, I'm Robert. Hi, I'm Michelle. And, and we, we are, are the Gonzalez, Gonzalez family. Pressure, pressure, pressure the ball, pressure the ball. Don't let the ball out. Come on, ladies, you gotta get on the shirt. The game's not over. Eva's involved uh, competitively uh, in, in soccer. Winning means to me being able to go out there and have fun and do what you love to do and do it how you know how to do it. Relax, Eva, relax. I wish I was a little bit more like her when I was actually playing sports because her worth ethics are crazy. Go, Carla, go, go, go! Dale, dale! Soccer is a lifestyle. There's a love and there's a passion for the sport. There you go, go, Carla! Follow her, Emma, follow her! Hustle! Let's go, let's go! Bring it, Emma, bring it! I want to see her succeed, but at the same time, I don't want to see her struggle or something that that might not bring her the happiness that I know that she deserves. Robert is obviously committed to building Eva's character, but over the years, I've learned that too much tough love, even with the best intentions, can sometimes lead to heartbreak. I think sometimes she does, she definitely feels the pressure. Just because you're sick doesn't mean that you don't perform. Sometimes I do feel that sometimes they just need, she just needs a break because she does so much. In life, you're gonna find yourself in situations that you have to do things that you don't like in order to succeed. You have to always stay focused and you always need to deliver. If she makes a decision to let me down, she's the one that's gonna suffer from that decision. I'm the last person to underestimate the value of hard work, but you can't forget that training a kid like they're an adult can be the quickest route to permanent burnout. You're not digging, woman, let's go! Places. Those who don't know, it's easy. It's that simple. It's kind of overwhelming sometimes by the way he pushes you. It's not just like you can go and do whatever you want. He's like, you're going to do this, and you're going to do this, and you're going to do it right. Who are you? Eva Gonzalez. Let's go. Come on, let's go. We'll move like an Eva. Move like an Eva. Let's go. I'm getting tired of the. I'm getting tired of that. The attitude. It needs to. That needs to. That needs to leave. That needs to leave. On the ground. When a child says, I can't, I'm done, that's really when the pressure, the, the hard pressure from, from me really steps in. Just because you got your little hormones going on and you got feelings going on in your body that you don't understand, that doesn't mean that you don't need to come out from in here. Lift your legs. Look at that, now we got tears. Now we got tears. Uh-huh. You gotta control what's upstairs or it's gonna control you. You understand? Yes, sir. I don't raise quitters. Never you showing signs of all sorts of weakness. Why? I feel like crap. Well, guess what we're gonna do? Keep going? That's right. It's... bad sometimes. Eva is a very talented soccer player who in my opinion is being pushed way too hard. So Robert's brother Mike decided to reach out to me to see if I could help. What's going on? Hey! Prime time himself. I don't think I've ever been speechless in my life. I was just like, oh my goodness, what's going on? Well, Mike has told me a lot about everybody and I heard Eva is like that. That's meaning you, you're really good and you accomplish some tremendous things. But as you know, behind every public success, if there's not enough balance, it's going to be private struggles. And I want to make sure we had that off, take care of that. So I want to talk to you collectively as well as individually so we could get to the bottom of some things and some issues to ensure that she has a wonderful, blessed life. So I want to kind of go one-on-one -on -one with you. Is that OK? Absolutely. So we could talk, kick it a chat a little, a little bit? Come on, girl. There you go. You enjoy sport? Yes, I do. I love it. Why? Because it's where I express myself. It's a time where I can express my passion and how I feel. You're a determined little woman. Yeah. 
So do you ever think about not being able to live up to expectations? I have sometimes for my soccer games. If I don't do good, I'm like, oh my God, I didn't do good. And it's like, next game is going to be 10 times better. And it's just, yeah. Expectations, your busy schedule. Has your dad set goals for you? Yes, he has. He's set like my running goals, where I'm supposed to get to for sports. And it's like, I'm going to get there. And I'm pushing myself because my dad is just there to help. You ever feel like just being a kid? Sometimes I'm like, oh, come on, let me go play with my friends. Let me go do this. But it's like sacrifices you got to do to be able to make yourself great. So what kind of things that you would like to do as a kid, just a normal CT? You know, like going to the movies with my friends, you know, going to the mall, going to hang out with them, all that stuff. Well, normal kids don't really go to Bolivia. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about that. Well, I went down there for a month and a half. I stayed and trained with the boys' team. I was nervous. Can you go to your dad and say, I don't, I don't want to do this? Yeah, but he's there and he says, it's a sacrifice, babe. It's something you got to do. Do you think at times uh, your dad is too tough on you? Sometimes he is, yeah. My talk with Eva is something I'll never forget. Her maturity was very special for a kid. And I picked up on something I wasn't expecting. I think I got a better idea of what was at the root of her pain. Now, oh, it's time for a chat with mom and dad. Do you ever concern yourself with her just wanting to be a kid? You know, there's still that pressure, but not as constant as, as it was. But you know what? She knows now that we're getting ready to take another step. She has goals that she wants to achieve, and she's not going to achieve those goals if that pressure is not there for her to be the best that she can be. Think about this. When we're watching our kids play, and we're on the sideline, and we yelling. And I have to examine myself, why am I angry? I'm, I'm motivating. Run, Eva. <laughs> well, uh, you have to be heard. You ever run across that, that you wanted a little more than they wanted at that particular time, and you find yourself emotional? That competitive spirit is probably what really drives that type of emotion. You're thinking about how practice went. You're thinking about how your date went. Now you have no time for one another. Forget the kids. What would you two do? Well, that's a, that's a, that's a question that there, there's been no thought, you know, no thought behind. Let's talk. What would you want to do with her? What would you want to do with him? It, it's hard for me to fathom that because it's that's, just... That, that's, that's the balance part of it. Yeah. Because to start taking time away from you and him. Mm -hmm. And now there's disconnect, there's discord, because everything is built around the kids. Yeah. After sitting down with our sports parents, I was afforded the opportunity to see the driving mechanism behind the intensity of Eva's training. The hurt, the pain, it's been going on for so long, it's escalated to the point that you're closed. If there's a ray of hope, I would just pray that you guys allow love to be. I guess finding that again is, is would be the challenge now uh, between her and I. It starts it, with communication. Yeah, yeah. It starts with a lot of things. Yeah. Your kids ain't crazy. They see, they feel, they understand tension, they understand love, they understand commitment, they understand passion. We got to look at each other and get it together. Look at her. Can you look at her? Yeah. Look at her right now. Please. Please. Look at her. I, I, I understand her pain. I mean, I, I understand her pain. Please. That's a mama that's crying out. That's a father that's crying out. There's someone right there. What made me sad was, um, the fact that, you know, Robert and I don't get to spend that much time together. What do I think my family needs most? Time together. Because of the schedule. Yeah, time together. Sorry. It's hard. at the price to be somebody. It's hard. 
You guys are gonna be all right. I got a funny feeling about that. I anticipate that our sports family will continue to heal and mature into the tight-knit unit that a family should be. I gotta be honest with you now, sometimes it's good to be prime. I get the hookup. I've been booed by hundreds of thousands, but a lot of times it's a good thing, okay? <laughs> Y'all ready? I heard you like nature. Yes. So we'll hook you up a little bit. All right. All right. He surprised us yeah. with the aquarium, going through to see all the animals, and I thought it was really cool. Cool. When he surprised us, it, it was great because it was able for us to be able to spend time together and see reactions from my kids that we haven't gotten a chance to be able to do for a long time. Being able to do that, going out and just be with the family with no sports or anything, it was amazing. She lit up. It was time for her just to relax and kind of like, in a sense, of be a kid again. One thing I think that will change is maybe us being together a little more. There are going to be things that are going to be taken from this experience. We're going to implement them uh, collectively as a family. Uh, Foliage isn't really yeah, necessarily yeah. My favorite part about the exhibit was seeing the iguanas, having like them go off the arm and then changing colors. It was really cool. I can't tell them enough how much I love each and every one of them. There's no question in my mind that all the time, energy, and attention we give our kids will only be as fruitful as the respect and love we show our spouse. The effort we make in our marriage is crucial in having a healthy relationship with our kids. Gonzalez on three. Yeah. Come on, baby. One, two, three. Gonzalez. Yeah. <laughs>